Hi, Gately Stevenson Matthews. It is the 16th episode of This Week on the North Shore, and I am coming to you from beautiful Morgan Park. And the reason I'm in the park today is because this Saturday evening, starting at 6 p.m., is the second annual Gold Coast Dance Festival. I know you'll want to get down here. Nicole, who organizes the event, does an amazing job. Not only is she an incredible dancer, she is so very talented at bringing together the very best that the dance world has to offer. Uh, dancers will be here from Alvin Ailey Dance Company, from Stomp, from Pilobolus, uh, you name it, they are here. So I know you want to get down here at 6 p.m. If you go to the Facebook page and see the event uh, listing, you will notice uh, Nicole is also encouraging people to get down here at 5 because they will be doing a dance workshop. So I always love those dance workshops. Even if you're not dancing, they're wonderful to watch. You learn so many things. So whether you get here at 5 p.m. or at 6 p.m., make sure you get to Morgan Park this Saturday evening. Uh, the event is free. There's a $20 suggested donation, but what a great opportunity for all of us to come together. And the thing I love about dance is it brings all of the art forms together. And if you've ever seen uh, Nicole dance, you see in her artistry, she not only understands the movement and how it relates to space, uh, it really is magnificent to watch. And again, she is bringing together so many great artists for this event starting at 6 p.m here in Morgan Park. Also, stick around because Sunday night, of course, we have the Morgan Park Summer Music Festivals. As some of you know, I'm honored to serve on the advisory council for the festival. And that evening, we have the ultimate 90s dance band called Fool House. Not Full House, but Fool, F-O-O-L, House. Uh, they begin at 7 p.m. Now, okay, with all of that said, let me switch the listing of events happening this week. There it is. Feel free to take a quick screenshot. Okay, and now let me move through these events. Wednesday, August 3rd, Glen Cove Chamber of Commerce hosts their monthly meeting, a waterside barbecue and mixer at Glen Cove's Hooked and Battered right here in Morgan Park. That starts at 6 p.m. at the base of the hill. It is open to members and also guests, so please come down and join us. For more information, go to glencovechamber.org and look for information on tickets again please come join us. Thursday, August 4th, the Seacliff Civic Association presents the band Chicken Head as part of their Sunset Serenade concert series. Who doesn't love Chicken Head? Just a dynamite band. Performance begins at 6.30 p.m. And there is the information on Facebook. Of course, Friday night, we have Downtown BID and Downtown Sounds. They're presenting a Santana tribute band, Milagro, and of course, it is in Glen Coe's Village Square starting at 7.30 p.m. Like many of you, I believe they were here in 2018. I had a meeting that evening and got there late, but oh my gosh, when I got there, everyone was up and dancing. They are a dynamite band and certainly going to be a wonderful concert on Friday evening, August 5th. Also on Friday evening, St. Paul's Episcopal Church presents the same stream choir's Roger Ames, a legacy concert series. I know many of you are familiar with Roger Ames. Actually, I don't think he's originally from Long Island, but lived in Great Neck for many years. Uh, unfortunately passed away, I believe, this past January, but uh, what a wealth of talent and uh, how beautiful that St. Paul's Church is presenting that concert again. That is Friday evening, 7 p.m. It's actually being presented in Philadelphia. It's being presented, I believe, at Princeton and also in Glen Cove. So rather than drive to Princeton or Philadelphia, uh, go to St. Paul's Episcopal Church starting at 7 p.m. And for tickets, go to the samestreamchoir.com. Saturday evening, August 6th, of course, uh, or not Saturday evening, but Saturday morning, rather, Deep Roots Farmer's Market runs from 9 a.m. until 1. Amy Peters does such a dynamite job. Of course, that's at 100 Garvey's Point Road. Also on Saturday, as I mentioned earlier, the Gold Coast Dance Festival starts at 6 p.m. Uh, there is that information. Please make a point to go to the uh, website or go to the event's Facebook page and get the uh, all of the information from the source. But what a dynamite evening that will be starting at 6 p.m. And as you see, there's a workshop that starts at 5 p.m. Uh, hope to see you there. Sunday night, uh, Morgan Park Summer Music Festival. As I mentioned earlier, Ultimate 90s Dance Band Fool House will be there. They start at 7 p.m. Just go to morganparkmusic.org. Saturday and Sunday, every Saturday and Sunday from noon until 4 p.m. As some of you know, I'm a trustee of the museum. Thanks to a very generous gift the admission is currently free. There are ongoing exhibits that are there, including the Harlem Hellfighters, Butch the Bum, uh, but also there's a wonderful exhibit there right now 
on the Harlem Renaissance. Uh, so get on down there. That brings us to Tuesday, August 9th. The Mayor's Office and Cadillac Guys Car Club present Cruise Night at Glen Cove. That's downtown at 1 Bridge Street from 5.30 until 9 p.m. I don't know who in town doesn't know Mario Benzavini, but he organizes that event. And oh boy, it is something you don't want to miss. So hope to see everyone down there. And let me switch this back around very quickly. And that's it for this week. This week on the North Shore, please join us each week. And also make a point to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not on YouTube, please go there and find it. And look for that little square in the corner. Click on it and say subscribe. Everyone have a great week and enjoy our beautiful Gold Coast. Thank you so much.